Good evening. Iowa legislative session is officially over. It had to wrap up quickly, too, after the coronavirus derailed three months of lawmaking. KCCI's Kayla James is live at the State House tonight with a look at what was accomplished and some big changes that may be on the way. Kayla. Yeah, Max, this session ended with legislators I spoke with call little change to the state budget and an overnight vote on abortion that, if signed, could have a controversial impact. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Despite coming together to unanimously pass a justice reform bill signed by Governor Reynolds on Friday, Iowa lawmakers found themselves at odds again Saturday night into Sunday morning on the topic of abortion. It's an amendment requiring women looking to get an abortion to wait 24 hours. We wanted to make sure that people had the opportunity to think about it, that they couldn't be put under duress or talked into something that they would regret later. If signed, the law replaces the 72-hour waiting period struck down by the Iowa Supreme Court in 2018, which is why Democratic leaders didn't understand the push for the bill. We felt it was a waste of time for everybody to go ahead and run that bill again because we know that it'll probably go to court and it'll probably get stopped. The state's budget near $7.8 billion. One significant cut, a loss of $8 million to the Iowa Board of Regents. Senator Selsey says they gave Governor Reynolds more discretion in how to use money to battle the pandemic. Okay. One area the senator did want to see more done about? Establishing more laws to end systemic injustice. She says the police reform bill that includes restrictions like the use of chokeholds is a good first step, but more needs to come. We need to fix those big things in Iowa law and help people rather than just chip around the edges. So I talked to some of my fellow legislators and they're excited to get to work on those things. And it's important to note that these are bills, not laws, and still have to be signed by Governor Reynolds. Reporting in Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Kayla, thank you. Overnight, the Iowa Senate accepted changes to a controversial absentee voting bill. The legislation bans the automatic mailing out of absentee ballot request forms. Now, this comes after Secretary of State Paul Pate sent out the forms to every Iowan before the June primary election because of coronavirus concerns. This new version of the bill requires the approval of a legislative committee before that can happen again. A measure that would strengthen the animal cruelty laws here in Iowa is headed to the governor's desk. The state legislature passed the bill on Saturday. It clarifies the current code to animals other than livestock and increases penalties for animal abuse and neglect. Lawmakers also passed a bill expanding Iowa's medical marijuana program. It would give access to CBD to those with PTSD and chronic pain. It will also change the THC limit that patients can receive, capping it at 4.5 grams every 90 days or 50 milligrams per day. The governor still has to sign that bill. It's really going to expand uh, some of the illnesses and conditions that are out there. Uh, and certainly uh, I'm very happy about that. Be sure to stick with KCCI for the latest on all these bills. We'll update you on air, online, and on our free mobile app.